Okay, zooming back out, you can see a horse towards the front of the image. Notice that the horse is staring at you with its large, prominent nostrils. We've positioned the horse this way to help you remember that Neisseria meningitidis colonizes the nares. Hopefully you remember from our Staphaureus video that Staphaureus also colonizes the nares. Now we've added a soldier riding the horse and drinking some malt beer. Seems pretty reckless to be drinking in the middle of a battle, but maybe the stress is just too much for him to handle. Anyways, malt beer sounds kind of like maltose, so we've added this character to the image to help you remember that Neisseria meningitidis is a maltose fermenter. We've also shown him sipping the malt beer. Sipping sounds like sepsis, so this is here to help you remember that Neisseria meningitidis can cause sepsis. Now let's look closely at the horse's body. You see all those red spots? That's right, this horse is injured. This shouldn't be too surprising considering that it's in the middle of a battle. Anyways, we've included this part of the scene to the image to help you remember that Neisseria meningitidis can cause a petechial rash. Hopefully from the name of the organism, it's pretty intuitive to you that Neisseria meningitidis causes meningitis. However, to make this very obvious, we've shown every person in this image wearing a hat. So think of Abraham Lincoln's hat along with all of the other hats in the scene to help you remember that Neisseria meningitidis causes meningitis. Okay, now let's add a few more characters to the scene to make this look like a real battle. 